Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be having a look at everything in regards to Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Season 4. It's set to begin on the 29th of May, so it is literally right around the corner. And we have a lot of stuff that's going to be coming, such as a Cart 98 as a new weapon, a Fallout crossover as well, and much, much more. So we're going to go in depth detail on everything we know so far in terms of Season 4. So you definitely want to get that popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. If you do, then feel free to drop a like, subscribe, if you and turn on post notifications and a quick shout out to one of my partners control freaks if you haven't used them already feel free to do so absolutely insane to help you improve your accuracy in warzone and call of duty you can use my link down below to get yourself a cheeky little discount at checkout with all being said let's jump into all the news as mentioned modern warfare 3 season 4 starts literally right around the corner on the may of 29 so according to in-game battle pass timer obviously that's how we would know this modern warfare 3 has been on track with every new season drop without any delays so far to the beginning or middle of any seasons which is pretty good we have had a lot of delays in previous Call of Duty in terms of season start dates but they have been pretty much on track so if May 29th does stick then expect all content to become playable at 9am PT 11am CT and 12pm Eastern as we've seen with previous seasonal updates the preload for the new content should become available first on PlayStation and Battle.net around two days before the season begins around May 20th 27th or May 28th is when players should be able to download any necessary updates to prepare for season 4 and I really hope the updates are not broken and season 3 reload literally destroyed the game in terms of gameplay and how everything functions it's not as been enjoyable as the start of the season now judging from the download size of previous Modern Warfare 3 seasons uh, the file should be approximately between 60 and 30 gig in size which is subject to change while Warzone isn't getting a new map this time modern warfare 3 multiplayer and zombies are expected to receive a large amount of content which may increase in the file size during the last few seasons of modern warfare 2 larger than usual title updates ended up decreasing the overall game size in exchange for needing to download 20 to 40 gigabytes of data for the new content it's likely that the future of modern warfare 3 seasons will have significantly smoother download windows than modern warfare 2 did so of course then we will be getting the new battle pass and black Cell players will receive a new battle pass and black cell offering in season 4 that will be available in modern warfare 3 warzone and warzone mobile new battle pass operators including hammer and void both of which players can get a first look at from this twitter post that i have put up on screen for you so this is what they will be looking like for operator hammer and operator void now the black cell is offering for season 4 grants you you an extensive collection of digitized and animated operator skins in shimmering gold with vertical glyph streams plattered tattoo work golden glitch wear mass black fabric and vivid teal blue accent accoutrements a variety of finely crafted premium items and yours with full access to the season 4 battle pass black cell owners can enter the season 4 battle map through the exclusive black cell sector instantly unlocking 20 battle token tier skips to quickly unlock items across the battle pass which will help you speed that up by quite a bit an image has surfaced as well of what is reportedly a black cell operator skin for void a new character in season four which can be found here so i'll throw it up on screen for you guys to see um that's just like a quick obviously that's not going to look like exactly like that um there'll be a lot more finer detail but this is probably a leaked sketch what was first put into the game but what most people are excited for in terms of new weapons so season four of modern warfare 3 will bring new weapons usable in modern warfare 3 warzone zombies and warzone mobile so here are the new weapons players should be getting at launch and in season so we are expected to get the STG 44 assault rifle, the Kart 98 sniper rifle and the Spaz 12 shotgun. We'll also get the Rugger PC9 carbine as well and potentially the compound bow which should be a mid-season weapon. There's also leaks that we might be getting the shovel melee weapon and also a spear melee weapon as well. There'll also be a high amount of new aftermarket parts so we're going to get the Jack Shadow Titan kit for the Buen Mark 9, the Jack Cutthroat for the M4 and the Jack Revenger kit for the BP-50. There are tons of new aftermarket packs as mentioned for Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 weapons that seem very versatile in Season 4. So here's a full list on everything we should be expecting. So we should be getting the RGL AMP Weekly Challenge Unlocked, Unnamed M4 AMP Weekly Challenge Unlocked, Moors Blunderbuss Weekly Challenge Unlocked, Unnamed Baliscus AMP Weekly Challenge Unlocked, Unnamed Castov S62 AMP Challenge Unlocked, 
unlock FGX Horus AMP Weekly Challenge unlock Unnamed Battle 27 AMP Challenge unlock Now, with that being said, in terms of multiplayer content stuff that we're going to be expecting, Season 4 of Modern Warfare 3 likely won't feature as many multiplayer as Season 3 6v6 experiences, but we'll likely see around 3 maps. Neither Gunfight or Ground War have received much support since Season 2, so it's likely we'll also see non 6v6 maps in our fourth season. In terms of new game modes, there aren't any specific modes leaked for Season 4 as of now. One variant of Escort has been rumoured, reportedly an opposing team in the mode will be Zombies. Players haven't played as a zombie in multiplayer since Zombies Infected from Black Ops 4, so potentially Zombies Infected will be returning. In terms of new kill streaks, then, it is rumoured that the following kill streaks are coming to Season 4. So we're going to be getting the Reaper drone, the IMS. The IMS kill streak is rumoured to return. Obviously, we've had that previously in Modern Warfare 3 2011, and has also been found in the in game files that that should be returning. The DNA bomb looks like that should be making a return as well. And then, in terms of zombie content, we've got quite a bit to discuss. So, as of now, the leaked wallet system from DMZ has yet to release inside of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. The feature would allow players to exfil with the store essence, then bring an amount of their choosing into the next game. Now, I did state that this was supposed to be coming in season three. We're yet still waiting. Then, gameplay has reportedly surfaced of the PvP mode that has leaked for several months. A recent trailer for the COD Endowment Night Recon bundle seems to show players fighting real enemy operators in Modern Warfare Zombies. Data miners have also leaked unstable rifts, which are theorized to be similar to the survival void objectives from Vanguard Zombies. These rifts would seemingly give the player opportunities to experience around base within Modern Warfare Zombies, which would be pretty cool. It would be nice to see um, some round based zombies in Modern Warfare Zombies. Warzone content so far, the la least amount of information is known for Warzone. Battle Royale ranked has yet to be announced and Warzone is seemingly up to date with all the QOL updates that is desperately needed. Leak has reported on a mutations type mode for Warzone which apparently offers a twist on various field upgrades, perks and equipment. The ability to play as a zombie may come sooner than the proposed haunting event which could drop in Season 6. There will be all new prestige challenges as well. There will be new prestige challenges and level cap for Modern Warfare 3 Warzone and Warzone Mobile. So Prestige 14 unlocked at rank 700, Prestige 15 unlocked at rank 750, Prestige 16 unlocked at rank 800 and Prestige 17 unlocked at rank 850 and the level cap until the end of Season 3. So the level cap for Season 4 will be 850. So there is a lot of grinding for you guys to go ahead and do and that is pretty much everything in terms of what to be expecting throughout the course of Season 4. So far, the more information I'll get, guys, I will give you more information. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you're most excited for for Season 4. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. But as always, I'll catch you on the next video.